On this edition of Check 6 Aviation, on the road, we check out Control Approach. Welcome, friend, to another edition of Check 6 Aviation. I'm in a super secret location somewhere in the Portland, Oregon area, and I've got my good friend, my news friend, uh, Paul. Grimstad. Paul Grimstad here. <laughs> I almost said Steve. Sorry, Steve, not you. But hey, I'm sure you're just as handsome as this guy. Uh, so um, anyway, so Paul. Steve's way better looking. Oh, Steve's way better yeah, looking? Yeah, okay. Yeah. He's, so he's smart too. Yeah. And plus he's an awesome guy to talk to. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, Paul is the owner of Control Approach, as I said. And if you don't know what Control Approach makes, they make these guys right here. And this happens to be Paul's RV14A project right here in his shop. This is where he makes all of his awesome rudder pedals. And if you haven't seen why I'm choosing Control Approach, then check out the previous video. The link is up in the con up in the top right corner there. And so, Paul, how long have you been uh, how long have you been doing rudder pedals for the experimental aviation market? Since about 2008. Okay. Yeah. And, and what was the driving force behind you getting into this this industry? I just saw something that I wanted to improve, and I, I thought I could give it a go. And then a few nights lost sleep, and I came up with uh, what I what I create. So then different iterations as I go along, and people wanting them. So that's that's what's driven it, and uh, it's it's a fun project. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I know that for you know one of the reasons that I cited for choosing your rudder pedals over the the stock Vans rudder pedals. Once again, there's nothing wrong with the stock Vans. They work just fine. They're perfectly safe. But for me, with the stirrups, I just saw some you know the potential for my feet to get hung up in there somehow. I'm I don't know. Plus, they look a heck of a lot cleaner in an airplane. Yeah, they're they're fine. So. Um... Yeah. Uh, I just kind of let them speak for themselves, I guess. So. And how many how many rudder pedals would you say are in the in circulation now? So in that time that you've been producing them. Um, not sure. A couple hundred. A couple hundred. Yeah. And and of those couple hundred, how many would you say have won a championship? Prize. Oh, I, I don't know, but I, I have seen a few uh, award-winning aircraft that have used the pedal system, so yeah, yeah, it's kind of nice. And that's why I'm, I'm going for Control Approach to represent my RV-10, because, well, if I, if I can pull it off, and I'm sure I, I'm confident I can, it'll be a contention, it'll be uh, in contention for a Gold Lindy at Oshkosh. Oh, perfect. That's a great attitude to start with right there. So, yeah. so these, these right here are all of the rudder pedals, the, the stop, the base. Yeah. That'd be the frames. The, the, the base frames. frames. Yeah. Okay. And are these, uh, for all of the vans line or do you also do other? Well, other the, there's RV 10 on the shelf here and RV 14 style which the rv14 style will fit the six seven and uh nine as well six seven nine and fourteen okay so it's all vans not no cub crafters or anything like that or no we make uh occasional uh rudder pedal systems for other prototypes and some but no other production aircraft at this point so okay all right awesome awesome so yeah go ahead and give give the give our friends out there a uh so um so this is another this is basically just the setup here this is where the magic actually happens and uh you said that this is a, a an order that's going out to a customer in seattle yeah this is going to seattle okay yeah so um just kind of put it put it together piece by piece right okay so the um I, I had asked him to show what how these how these you know, rudder pedals are made, but I guess there, there's some sort of proprietary no, no, system. A, uh, it's step by step, but I uh, I start by doing some pre-assembly on on the linkages uh, 
here's uh, this guy's, and and so I, I pre-assemble the um, uh, the hardware that goes in for the brake linkage and so forth, and uh, and I keep everybody's stuff ready to go and set aside. So okay, uh, it just kind of speeds up the assembly when when uh, when I do put it all together. So. so so if someone like like me is ordering the Behringer parts. Uh, they'll go ahead and drop ship those parts, the, the brake cylinders, to you, and you'll install them onto Correct. the pedal system. Right. So I will, I will ship the system prepped, ready. The builder can put their own master cylinders on, or if they ship the master cylinders to me, then I will put them together. I charge a little more for a Behringer because they take more time, but uh, that's not too big a deal. So. But what a time saver. Yeah. Yeah. So, tell, tell us about your 14A here. This is almost the same project, well, the same aircraft, except for the, this one has a nose gear, but Steve Thorne from Flight Jobs also built a 14, but he built a 14, a regular 14, not with, you know, with the tail dragger version. So this one already likes to do aileron rolls. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this is what's called a rotisserie. When I first heard the term rotisserie, I'm like thinking, okay, who's having a barbecue? Right. <laughs> this is a custom rotisserie. Yeah. You, you made this. Yeah. I built it. It's got a, it's got a linear actuator here. Um, I still need to hook up a little wiring, and uh, and then it will go up and down and just manually rotate. Uh, but. Uh, it will rotate completely around, so nice. Kind of nice. Yeah. So what? Um, how? Oh, so the okay. There you go. There's there's the brake cylinders right there. Yep. All right. And the Behringer, they'll be they'll be red. Yep. Okay. So cool. I like red. <laughs> yeah, those are really sweet. Yeah, I got some right here. Have you seen the Behringer stuff yet? No, I haven't. Um, I have some of the Behringer parts. Yeah, I've got... Okay, this one is kind of pre-set up, so basically it's going to link in here like this. And there's a Behringer ma master cylinder and linkage assembly. And uh, that's what I mean by pre-assembling. I save a lot of time because there's a lot of work in pinning this all out. And uh, so... It saves time when I go to do the final assembly. Nice, nice, and uh, so that is awesome. And it's ma it's amazing how how clean this setup is. <laughs> well, I like clean. Yeah, <laughs> I think the shop is quite a mess. But... Oh, please, please, your, your your floor I could almost eat off of it. Yeah. yeah, if you if you saw the current state of my shop, <laughs> yeah, well, not, or, yeah, not pretty. You know, it's nice to have a, a decent floor to work off of. That's for sure. Yeah, and good lighting. So. Yes, yes, definitely good lighting. I mean, uh, I could. You were, you've got the filter up there, so I can see. You know, maybe some plastic around here and some spray. Yeah, spray paint. No, I, uh, I won't probably do any painting in this shop. Uh, we, we've got a paint booth available at a local airport, so... Okay. Yeah, I'm going to probably go there. But, uh, yeah. One question I have is... Yeah. How are you planning on getting this out of here? Uh, i got a big door behind that, that uh, tarp right there. Oh, okay. So, I will have to crab it a little bit to get the uh, horizontal to go around, but of course the wings don't go on it until you get to the airport. Exactly. Anyways. Yeah. And, uh, you know, how do we find you? Oh, uh, controlapproach.com. Uh, real old website, but probably the best thing to do would be to just give a call. And uh, yeah, that number is 503 849 2123. All right, and by the way, this is not 
a, this is a total, total uh, surprise that I'm actually here, especially to, to uh, Paul here because he was not expecting. I, I think you were probably in here working on a few orders yeah. when I when I called, and uh, he was nice enough to come pick me up out of the truck stop. All right, that's it for this episode of Check Six Aviation. As always, if you like uh, content, aviation content like this, give us a like, subscribe, uh, visit our other. Yeah, our other social media sites and give us the same treatment over there. Share this video with someone that you think could benefit from this, especially if they are looking for a very clean rudder setup for their, their home-built kit, their home-built aircraft. So with that, Raymond on the road, Paul from Control Approach, and always remember to check your six. Peace.